Hi there. When I'd bought what I thought was all of the equipment I needed to get plating, I realised I didn't have any of the ones for brush plating. Now, these ones are about £10 each, and I knew I'd find it easier having different ones for different chemicals. So that was at least three or four ones. Essentially, the wand is just a medium to get the electricity to a soft end piece while being comfortable and easy to hold. And I realised I've already got everything I need to make one. So here it is. The setup's really quite simple. It's an old paintbrush with some brass tubing, some wire running from the tubing to the connector and going to a crocodile clip to supply the power. The work and end piece is simply the filter for roll up cigarettes. On this first one, I used a lead that had a crocodile clip on both ends, but for the ones that I'm going to make now, I've took the clip off one end because it was a bit bulky. Right, so let's get started. Obviously I've got my two wires, one for each of the two that I'm going to be making. Paintbrush. Brass tube, which is actually a tube from a slimline pen making kit. It's just over six millimetres. Now the technique I'm going to show you when making this one uh, involves using a crimping tool but there's a little bit at the end which actually makes it much easier and saves you having to buy one of those. So I've got the copper wire which I think was half a millimetre. I've got the cigarette filters and the electrician's tape. And that's it. That's everything you need. So first things first, paintbrush obviously you don't need, so I'm going to just chop the end off that. Uh, I just use a hacksaw and just got rid of it. I'd given it a quick sand on the end to get rid of the rough edges and to make sure that the brass tube fitted. Now, personally, I'd find this tube a little bit too long to use, so I just needed to cut that down as well. Obviously you can tell I'm a complete amateur at making these videos because I can't even keep my hands in the frame. There we go. Now it's a nice firm fit on the brush end which is exactly what we need. Now once I get one of these filters out of the packet, I'll be able to show you that unfortunately it's just a little bit too loose. Gonna have to tighten that tube up somehow. I'm the type of person that has some weird and wonderful tools and among them are these crimpers that I haven't used in about 15 years. So I'm just gonna use them just to clench down on that tube a little bit, just to nip one side a bit. And there we go, now that makes it just a little bit narrower and we should have a nice snug fit for the filter. And let's just pop that tube back on the end. And that's it, that's the main body complete. Simple as that. Now obviously it's not going to work without some way of getting the electricity down to the tip. So I'm using some half millimetre copper wire. When I can find the end of it, I'm going to use the tried and tested technique of just jamming it in the end. Now I'm going to be a little bit artistic and I'm going to take the wire up the brush in a nice spiral. Now we need a little bit extra at the top for it to be able to hold on to the wire providing the electricity. So I'm just going to tighten it up here. Now 
Man, I hate working with this stuff. It always tangles up. Or maybe that's just me. Let's not make you sit through this. Let's fast forward a bit. And there we go. Right, let's just trim that wire off. The wire that I'm going to use to connect the power supply is just a normal connecting wire with a crocodile clip on each end. I've cut the clip off one of the ends and stripped the wire a little bit to give us something to connect. As you can see, I'm just loosening the end coil a little bit. Pop the wire in, pop the wire in, and then pull it down snugly over the end so it's nice and tight again. I suppose you could solder it if you like, but to be honest, I've found that just with the tape over at the end, it seems to be holding on absolutely fine. Now this next bit's really good for me. I'm actually going to test it to make sure it works before I tape it all up. And yep, that seems absolutely fine. And it looks like it's time to wrap this up. Well, yeah, sorry. I'll give it a little bit of extra on the end just to make sure it stays in place. So even though I cut the crocodile clip off the end of the wire, I did leave the little rubber boot in place so it can just tidy up the end of the wand. Now I do use a certain very well known brand of uh, cigarette filter, but I do also like to trim a little bit off just with a normal craft knife and it gives you a bit more surface area when you're actually brushing it on the part. And that's it. Job done. And just a short working, here's a snippet from a recent project that I've been doing where I'm just putting the nickel activator onto a freshly coppered piece. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I nearly forgot, I promised you an extra little bit on the tube cutting process, didn't I? If you don't have a crimping tool, then you can use one of these little pipe or tube cutters. To be honest, I actually think it's a better way, because as well as cutting through the tube, it compresses the end very slightly, just enough to be able to hold the filter. So once again, thanks very much for watching.